Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to another video. I'm wearing my glasses, I look like I'm in focus, and we're gonna roll with it. The plan for today is to do skincare. I've not fully gone through what my skincare is in a very long time. What I've managed to do just for like efficiency and quickness is condense my morning and nighttime routine I can actually even show you guys basically my entire routine fits in this little basket so I have these Noxzema anti blemish pads because we've been having colder weather I've been slugging with Vaseline I have the really big jar so I just put some in here and I use this as I go I've showed you guys my CeraVe retinol I have the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid and AHA BHA Peel, and I actually have backups of both of these already. This is it, the bottle is an, um, what is this? A Moroccan Argan Oil bottle, but it has like Argan Oil, it has Sea Buckthorn Oil, it has Cold Pressed Chia Seed Oil, and two other things. I had five of these bottles laying around, and I was into it. I used them all on my hair and my face anyway, so I just put them all in a bottle. It, I use it on my hair and my face, but I would use this after moisturizer before slugging with the Vaseline and then I have these like clay eye patches that I actually rarely use not even gonna lie and then I have some anti-blemish pads these holler what is it holler and glow like lip ones trash garbage they don't stick they just do nothing for me however these Hanahu blemish patches these ones I can swear by these ones these ones do a really good job and then like I said aside from my moisturizer that I use in the day which just opened a new one and my moisturizer that I use at night also just opened a new one and also I didn't it did, this doesn't go in the basket but I've started using, well not started, look how far down the bottle is, I'm talking about started. But on and off, I've been using the Ordinary Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution on and off because I read, I think it was on the box, that you're not supposed to use this with a retinol. But y'all, my skin started getting real funny and I was like, I don't know if I need this toning acid more than I need the retinol. I've been using them holes together, I won't lie to you. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed to. But I, I use them together, like, my skin needs both. And it should, it's not fair that I have to choose which one I'm gonna use. But I wanna do something a little extra for my skin since I'm on break and I have the time, like I'm not rushing through a routine. I'm also going to, I bought these like peach bellini, let me get it for you guys, cause like, I literally feel like right now I'm on a FaceTime call with my favorite cousin and just I'm just rambling. I wish you guys could like talk back. That would be very scary. <laughs> but I also think it would be very cool. Let me show you guys. Here it is. I just bought oh no, I said peach bellini, it's peach prosecco. And this smells too good. I have like the cube that I melted. Oh, honest, somebody actually, side note, tell me how to use a wax warmer because I don't know if I'm supposed to like continue to warm up that same wax. Like, does it disappear? Like, candle wax burns like out, out, like it disappears. Does wax melts burn out, out? Like, do they, are they supposed to disappear? Because I've been just like, honestly, I'm not gonna lie, I've been throwing away like because I have these and they just pop out. And I've just been throwing these away because like it smells really light. It doesn't have that strong smell anymore. So I've been throwing it away. Am I supposed to do that? 
Do I just let it burn all the way? Do I add more oil into it? I don't know what to do. Tell me what to do and I'll do it. It's, it, it smells good still, but it just smells super light. So, I don't know what to do. I'll be back when I know what's happening with myself. Okay, so after what must have been some kind of meltdown of some sort, I am mixing my face mask first. And I do this because sometimes with this Intine Clay mask, you have to let it sit and set so that it can be thick, or at least the texture that I like to use the mask at. Also, I found that for the kind of texture that I want, the best ratio is one to one. So one, I believe that's like a tablespoon of clay to one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. You can also mix this with water, but I feel like it mixes better with apple cider vinegar. And then I use the back of a brush to mix it, just to make sure everything is wet, like all the powder is wet. And then I swap sides of the brush and mix it with the actual brush bristle side. All right, so after washing my face, I did use my Vanity Planet Spin for Perfect Skin. And instead of using the CeraVe Foaming Facial Wash, I actually used a piece of African black soap that I still had. And then I dry my face with a napkin. I have like really, like I really wish I didn't need to use this single use napkin, but it just works so much better. It's a lot more efficient for my skin when I use a single use napkin versus continuously using a towel that gets wet and then has to dry and then gets wet and i just feel like that's a breeding ground for bacteria versus the single use napkin so i just feel like it's the best it's the better option for me and then i'm just showing you guys again the consistency of the face mask it is literally the perfect amount for me to put it on thick on my entire face and neck area And then here I am fresh out of the shower because for me personally, I think it's easier to wash the clay mask off in the shower or unless you have like a warm, damp towel, that might also be really, uh, that's a nice way, that's how I do it sometimes too. But I prefer just doing it in the shower and letting, literally letting the, the shower head just like attack my face and the mask gets soft enough and I can just rub it off. And so now I am applying my serums and creams and whatnot. So I started with retinol and then I'm using this Freeman purifying mask, but it's also like a leave on moisturizer kind of situation. I don't know how they do it, but they do. And then my cousin's over there talking to me. She just came in. She's also going to a function with me. But then next I use my regular e.l.f. Holy Hydration moisturizer and I did put my Laneige lip sleeping mask on also love that to pieces and then to just lock all of that in without having to like slug or use an oil i use the freeman ultra healing cream mask it says for dehydrated skin glasses that are still dirty y'all ignore this big red head cloth shoe thing situation this is what I'm wearing. My brown purses are front glasses. I need some perfume really quick. The book launch starts at six, it's 5.58. As previously mentioned, I live 10 minutes away. Gotta go, love ya, bye.